Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to your JavaScript tutorial series. This video, we're going to be talking about the arrow function in conjunction with the bind method. Now, I did a video specifically on bind just a couple videos ago, so you might want to check that out so you can get the, the context or the, the prerequisites or whatever. But basically, bind allows you to force a particular value of this, and it will return a new function that you can then call. First, you gotta check out our sponsor, that's right, Dev Mountain. Go check them out. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? Dev Mountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through Dev Mountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, Dev Mountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. All right, so what we have right now, we have this arrow function and we're calling it. All it does is return this and then we just console log that value and we get the window object. Now you have to realize the whole point of arrow functions is to get the value of this from the parent context. So what is the value of this right here? That's right, the window object. So that's what the value of this is going to be for the function. Now this bind method is going to take a new value for this. So we'll just start with hello. And then what we need to do is we need to assign it to another variable because it's actually going to return a new function. So we'll just say let new func and assign it this. Then all we gotta do is call that and output the, the output. <laughs> so we'll say new func and call it. Do a refresh and we still get window. So what in the world? We're binding this value to the value for this, but when that this is returned, we still get window. And that's the thing. You cannot change the value of this for arrow functions. Even though we can call this bind method on it, it doesn't actually change the value of this. So if you need to explicitly state what the value of this should be, you need to use a normal function and then use the bind method. So in that situation, it might look like this function normal return to this. And then all we have to do is use the bind method on this function. And we're going to do a little bit of a shorthand here. So we're going to say normal dot bind, pass in whatever we want. And that's going to return a function. So we can just call that function. And this entire thing will be outputted in a console log. Like so. Do a refresh and you can see that we're able to change the value of this for that normal function. So when it comes to bind with arrow functions, mm, not a thing. Again, if you need to be explicit about what this should be, use a normal function and then use bind and then use the return function whenever you need that value of this. If you're gonna use it multiple times, you'll probably wanna assign it to a variable like this, so then you can use it as so, but obviously not for an arrow function. All right, so enough rambling. That's all I got for this video. In the next video, we're gonna be start talking about a new topic. It'll be a lot of fun, so please be sure to check it out and I'll see you then.